Abdul Wasi Rahmani was able to leave before the Taliban got into power, but now thousands are struggling to leave Afghanistan. I know that probably if I'm in Kabul, and those bad guys will, be, will look at us and they will uh, um, kill us in front of our house. Abdul Wasi Ramadi escaped Afghanistan less than 30 days ago. He's amid the thousands of Afghans at risk of Taliban retaliation for working for the United States government. I'm uh, now thinking that thanks uh, God that I arrived here and I'm now in a safe place. My family is in a safe place. We are living. Ramadi spent more than a decade as an interpretive translator for the U.S. Through the special immigrant visa program, he was able to bring his five children and wife to America within 15 months. While his immediate family is safe, he fears for those back home. I'm concerned of my brothers, the others that they are here, though the Taliban told him that he, nothing will happen. But as I know, as I know, uh, we cannot believe currently on anyone. Tens of thousands of foreigners and Afghans who collaborated with U.S. and NATO forces remain stranded in Kabul. This is happening days after President Biden's decision to withdraw U.S. troops out of Afghanistan. And I cannot blame United States because the United States came to, to, uh, to support Afghanistan in order to stand on their own feet, not to be always their supporter. And Ramadi is working to get his brothers, nieces and nephews out of Afghanistan and bring them to America. But he says the demand is so high right now, he hasn't received much information. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.